Here is a fundamental reality. If the choice is one state, Israel can either be Jewish or democratic, it cannot be both. And it won't ever really be at peace. In the West Bank, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said he was willing to resume peace talks in exchange for a halt to settlement construction. This is the chief Palestinian negotiator, Saab Arakat. Mr. Netanyahu knows very well that he has the choice, settlements or peace. He can't have both. Settlements are illegal under international law. Settlements are a flagrant violation to international law. Settlements are the antidote for the two-state solution. In Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's reaction to John Kerry's speech was swift and harsh. But now I must express my deep disappointment with the speech today of John Kerry, a speech that was almost as unbalanced as the anti-Israel resolution passed at the U.N. last week. Israel looks forward to working with President-elect Trump and with the American Congress, Democrats and Republicans alike, to mitigate the damage that this resolution has done and ultimately to repeal it. Donald Trump took to Twitter to blast Kerry's speech, writing in a pair of tweets, We cannot continue to let Israel be treated with such total disdain and disrespect. They used to have a great friend in the U.S., but not anymore. The beginning of the end was the horrible Iran deal, and now this U.N. Stay strong, Israel. January 20th is fast approaching.